Hey everyone, welcome back to another Christmas video on my channel. In this tutorial, I'm adding heat transfer vinyl to personalize a kid's Christmas apron. My daughter loves baking with me, so I think this will be a fun project to make for her. This is from the Hearth and Hand line at Target. I think it's out of stock online, but there might be some in stock in stores. It's made out of 87% cotton and 13% linen. The linen gives it that rougher texture, as you can see here. When you press vinyl into textured items, you can see it through the vinyl. So I thought I would try glitter vinyl. I think that will kind of hide that texture. Here's the two colors I'll be using. This is Caesar Easy Weed vinyl, which is one of my favorites, and you probably already know that. I usually buy this at Michael's. Before I go into Cricut Design Space, I wanted to show you how I measure for my decal. I thought five inches looked good for the width. I just let it auto adjust for the height in Design Space. And I also am going to put vinyl on the pocket of the apron, so I'm measuring that as well. First, I'm gonna grab my font that I'm using for my daughter's name. I'll click on text and then I'm gonna go over to my font. I am going to select on system since it's not a Cricut font. I'm going to type in Day Augusta. This font is really cute. I think I found it on Creative Fabrica. I will look and I can link it down below if you are looking for this specific font. And I'll just type in her name. Next, I'm gonna go over to my images and I'm going to grab an SVG from Cricut. I'm gonna type in Gingerbread House. Actually, I'm gonna type in North I'm going to select this one and hit add to canvas. All I want is the trees and the gingerbread house. So I'm going to go over to my SVG and there's a lot of layers there. I am just going to hide the ones that I don't want. I am going to be using white glitter HTV for everything except for this little candy cane that I'm going to be using red HTV. I'm going to change my colors. I'll come up here and select white. And the easiest way to change this since it's all different layers is to go over to color sync. And all you have to do is drag this down to the white. I've used color sync a lot, but I'm pretty sure with one of Cricut's new updates, dragging the entire layer down like that, I think that might be new and it's super easy. Now I'm going to size everything. For Quinn, I'm gonna make it five inches for the width and I'll just let it automatically adjust for the height, which is around two inches. And for this one, I'm going to do 4.5 inches for the width. And I'll also let that automatically adjust, which is about 2.5 inches for the height. Now I'm ready to click make it. The layers must not be attached, so I'm going to hit cancel. It looks like all of this is grouped together. I'm going to click ungroup. Then I'm just going to grab all of my white pieces and I am going to attach those together. And I just hit shift on my keyboard when I select all of them and I'll come down and hit attach. And I don't want to attach the red piece because that's going to be a different color of vinyl. Now I should be ready to click make it. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to bring Quinn down. I'm going to mirror my design and I'll mirror this one also. Then I'll hit continue. I'm using glitter HTV, so I am going to select glitter iron on. I add my vinyl to my mat and I place it glitter side down. I also grab my brayer tool because this was a roll of vinyl and it just presses it into the mat so that it sticks down really well and it won't pick up when it's cutting. Then I load it into my Cricut machine and it'll cut out my designs. To take the vinyl off my mat, I bend my mat backwards. That is the best trick for getting anything off of your Cricut mat. And then I add my red vinyl. I put that glitter side down as well and I load it into the Cricut and it'll cut it out. I'm using my Christmas tree decoration to help me lay this out flat so I can cut around the design. And once I'm done doing that, I'm ready to weed out the excess vinyl. 
Here I'm weeding out the vinyl. Glitter vinyl could be a little tricky to see the cut lines, but once you start going, it makes it a little bit easier. And I just find it so much easier to cut out than just regular adhesive vinyl. And here I'm using my pen pen tool. I am obsessed with this thing. I absolutely love it. It just makes it so easy to weed everything. And I'm just getting these smaller pieces here. I'm using my Cricut Easy Press Mini and I set it to medium. I use this any chance I get just because it is just so easy and convenient to use. Here I'm preheating my apron and I realized as I'm editing I forgot to preheat the little pockets but I think it'll be fine. Then I add my name on there, place a Teflon sheet on top, and then I just run my Easy Press Mini over my vinyl for 25 seconds. Once that's done, I remove the clear carrier sheet on top of the vinyl. And with this, you don't have to wait for it to cool down at all. So I pretty much do this right away. Now I'm ready to add my vinyl to the pocket. I just think this little pocket on here is so cute. I place just the white vinyl down first and I'll add the red piece later. I just place my Teflon sheet on top and place my heat on top of it. I don't think I did it for the full 25 seconds because I end up running it over it again. I place my red vinyl down, then I will just run my Easy Press Mini over it for the full 25 seconds. I went over the white vinyl a little bit as well. Once it's done, I remove the carrier sheet. I think it'd be cute if it had a little gingerbread man on the pocket as well. But here's a close up. You can see the glitter. It's so pretty. And what's awesome is you cannot see that textured fabric through the vinyl at all. Here is a view of Quinn's name. I think it turned out really well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think of it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I would love it if you subscribed if you are new. I'm excited to give this to my daughter so we can bake all the fun Christmas goodies this year.